In the sum, length is 100, that is 75 plus 25, height is 50 and width is 50. So now, if you see, origin is on the right hand side and we have 100 on the left side. So we'll mark 100 on left side. We'll take 100 here, draw mark, we'll take 50 on right hand side and height 50. Then we'll complete the box. Now after this, in front view there are three parts. See part 1, part 2, part 3. Part 1 is this lower part. Part 2 is this. And part 3 is this. So which one I should draw first? Part 1, part 2 or part 3? Part 1, right? Because that is nearer to observer. So first we will draw part 1, height is 15. So we will take 15. After that we need to draw radius 25. So for radius 25 we need to have a rhombus of 50. So we will mark 50, 50 and we'll draw rhombus 50. After that draw long wave diagonal, mark midpoint, midpoint from this corner join this midpoint. So this is let's say point 1. So from point 1 we can draw this radius. See this. And from point 2, we can draw this radius. After that, we need to draw this radius down also. We need to draw this curve down also. At what height? 15. So from point 1, we will go down by 15 down. Because height is 15, mark that point as 1 dash. From 2 also we will go down by 15, we will mark that point as 2 dash. Take 1 to this radius and from 1 dash we can draw arc. Same way from 2 we can take this radius, we will go down by 15 and again we will draw radius. And we can draw tangent. So we are done with the lower part. Now if you see there is a radius 10 also. If you see the main diagram, there is diameter 20. So what we need to do, first we need to find out midpoint of this rhombus. So we will take 25 from here, 25 from here, we will draw a line. In same way, 25 from here, 25 from here, we will draw a line. So we will get the center point. Now, after getting this point, we need to take 10, 10, 10, 10 on all 4 sides. Then we will draw a parallel line at 30-30 degree. So we will get rhombus. Again we will follow the same method. Longest diagonal. From this point we can join. From this point we can join opposite midpoint. We can, and again we can draw a circle. From this point 1 we can draw this arc. From this point we can draw this arc. From this point this arc. And from this point this arc. Now if you see in this sum, there is a possibility that we might see the depth of this hole. So for that what we need to see, we need to see the height. Height is 15. So from this point, you go down by 15. Take this radius, go down by 15 and you draw arc. See this, take this radius, go down by 15 and you draw arc. So you get the depth of the circle. So we are done with part 1, now we will see part 2, now see the main diagram, in part 2, see there is a, in front view there is a line between part 1 and part 2, these two are different level, these two are in different level, so that we can see only from top view, total width is 50, this is 35, so we need to take 15 behind, so from here, we will go behind by 15, we will draw a line and we will take 50 because length is 10, 30, 10, 50 so that's why I took 50. 
Now I have to go behind by how much? 35. So I will go behind by 35 and I will join this. So we can draw part 2 over here. In that, what we need to do? We need to take 10 from here, 10 from here. Same way, we will mark 10 behind also. So we can draw this part, this. Now we need to draw circle. So for that, what we need to do? We need to find out midpoint of this line. Draw vertical line. Now radius is how much? 15. So we have to draw rhombus of side 30. So from center we will mark 15 up, 15 down, 15 left, 15 right and we will draw rhombus. We will draw longest diagonal. From this point we will join to the midpoint. midpoint. So from this point, let's say point number 3. We can draw this radius. See this. Same way, this is point number 4. So from that, we can draw this radius. Now the same circle would be behind also. So what we need to do? From 3, we need to go behind by 35. Why? Because this width is 35. You go behind by 35, take this radius, go behind by 35 and you draw arc. Got it? So this is that point from where you have gone behind by 35. Take this radius, go behind by 35 and you draw radius. Now after this, we will draw part 3. If you see part 3, how much it is behind? Total is 15, that is 10. So it is 40 behind. So we can say 15 and from here 25. So we'll go behind by 25 from here and we'll draw vertical line. Now in front view they have given length 20. So I can draw 20 over here and join this. Then I'll go behind by 10 and I will join this also. So we are done with part 3 also.